You know, for we've been at this since 1985, so we've seen all kinds of seasons and fads and and this, that, and the other. But but it is. It, it, I was struck the other night. I was at dinner with uh, one of the more conservative groups that was very, very popular seven, ten years ago when they were with us. And the room was packed out. And this year, there weren't many people in there at all because the demographic has changed. And so the average age of that group was probably 70. And, and it was, I, I think it was an eye-opener for the group to say, you know, the, the demographic has changed, it may have passed us by. There's still going to be a whole lot of money, you know, because of the older generation, but, but the enthusiasm is not there in the, in the next generation that it was in their generation. So, so, so I was thinking, we can have this very conservative group in the same meeting as we can have a speaker who comes out of the tradition of Catholic based communities. And, and yet it's not, you know, we don't put up straw men, we don't have mud wrestling, we don't have fights. It's, look, got, you know, the kingdom is fairly broad, so it's okay to have, not only okay, this is what we want. It's not just diversity for the sake of diversity, but you know, let's turn this prism and, and see if we can look at things in different ways. It doesn't mean that there's no more right and wrong. It doesn't mean that there's no more true and false. It just means that part of our responsibility is, is looking at these things from different perspectives, come to a conclusion and then get in the game. But, but don't just listen to somebody that has a charismatic personality and say, oh, that's what I believe and I want to hear more of that. So I, for me, the thrill of the gathering is to have all those different perspectives, but not be trying to put them together in such a way that it creates a show where you know, we have kind of a, uh, a standoff or an argument or people interrupting each other or intentionally disagreeing, kind of a you know, Fox News format where we just yell at each other for entertainment value. So it's, you know, this is, this is not NASCAR where we're all sitting around hoping somebody will have a crash. I mean, th this is something other than that. So that, again, you know, I'm an old school teacher. I want people to learn, I want people to think, I want people to explore new ideas and then say, okay, I got stretched a little bit, uh, or I vehemently disagree, but you didn't threaten me, you didn't make me feel stupid, you didn't you know, try to change my mind, but you exposed me to something that I choose not to get interested in. So that, that's, again, you know, that's, it's a smorgasbord, but, um, but, but it's not a smorgasbord with no expectations. It's a smorgasbord um, with find something, get involved in it, get engaged, take the next step. And, you know, Paul talks in Ephesians about being mature and that's really our goal. Our goal is not education. Our goal is maturity. And education is only one step in becoming mature. Although you may want to consider the uh, mud wrestling thing for like a Friday night dinner. <laughs> <laughs> so well, you know, that silicon mud they use is way yeah. too expensive for our budget. So. Not sustainable? No, not sustainable.